Hey guys, today we're going to test out this brand new shape building tool. It was very requested feature and now finally in version 2 we can use a dedicated tool for shape building. Before we jump into some examples, let me just quickly remind you how we deal with that in version 1. So in version 1 when you got two shapes, let me just quickly draw two shapes. So in version 1 we had to use geometric operation, boolean operation. So I got two shapes and now I can select them both and I can use, let's say, the first one add and I turn two shapes into one. Let's undo. Now I can use subtract and the top shape will kind of cut the hole in the shape below. Then we got intersecting part. This is XOR. So this is opposite to intersection. Now you cannot see it. Let me put some color into it uh, like this. This part is cut out. And finally, the last one will divide all of the shapes. So it will divide all we got now we got just two shapes. Keep that in mind. Circle and square. And if I use divide on it, I end up with three shapes. Now it's all divided. We got curves here, op open shapes in that case, because I didn't use fill color. Alright, so I divide everything. And you can use that, you can mix those operations, you must do it in correct order and finally you can build any shape you want. That was totally possible and some, <laughs> some veterans can do it, no problem. But many people request a, a, a dedicated shape builder so we can speed up and smooth up this process. So let's test it out. I already draw some shapes so we can save some time and jump straight to the tool itself. So now in version 2 we don't need to only use boolean operations, geometric panel, but we can actually select all of those shapes you want. And below shape tool, you will find this new shape builder tool over here. Select that. And as you can see, you can set up it in plus mode. When you're going to add areas together to create a new shape or delete mode. So I'm going to delete part of the this combination here to get a uh, result a new shape all right so the thing is i will set up in plus mode first let's hover the mouse for a while without clicking or dragging anything take a look that's the powerful feature of of this shape builder dedicated shape builder so what i got here are actually like circles 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 but the shape builder can detect all of like intersections so i do not select the whole circle i just select this intersecting part here, 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 here. So whatever two shapes intersect, that will be treated like kind of like uh, its own thing for a while. So we can use that as our advantage. All right. So let's try to use this plus mode. I will click and I start drawing this line. Whatever will be touched by this line will join this shape. All right. And if I release my mouse now, that's a brand new shape over there. Okay, now I can change to minus. And now, as you can see, it's red. I can use this to delete unnecessary elements. We can delete whole area, whole shape. Or if you hover on the line, you'll be able to get rid of lines as well. So that's nice. Up too much. I don't know, maybe I can just get rid of that as well. All right, and here's my new composition. So we use Shape Builder to unite shapes we want and get rid of the shapes we don't want very quickly. All right, let's move to the next thing. Here is a very classic example. Someone tried to make a little cloud and weather icon. We use multiple circles overlapping and one square like shape. And what can we do next? First, select it all, pick shape builder, and we can start with minus this time. So I can get rid of this part straight away. I don't need it. And it seems like everything else will be necessary for our shape. So I'll just change to plus and nicely unite everything together. You can, of course, do it old classic way with geometric operations. If you know how, no problem. But this way, it's really fast and smooth process. 
and let's just inspect what we got here this is a vector shape let's check that i will change to no tool and as you can see no problem here this is fully vector shape we got nodes we can even post edit them now after we finish using shape tool shape builder tool sorry so everything is here it's still editable we don't need to expand anything it's not grouped it's just one nice smooth shape all right what next oh this is super classic you saw it already a million times right in past three days <laughs> so what do we have here we got a double rings here so we can use part of it to left like a gap a hole and in this scenario let's try first with like normal settings so i'll just pick shape builder normal settings without changing anything we are in the plus mode i'm starting here adding this this and this that's my new shape i want to have release it's here so it's here but it got a lot of those like leftover areas and lines and everything so we need to clean that up manually later on but we actually can modify some settings of the shape builder itself to clean this up for us so take a look i will undo all right let's start over but this time i will turn on clean up unused curves and i will turn on clean up unused areas and let's try again all right and now when i release i got this part clean up i still got this shape i don't know why let's just clean this up with shape builder of course so we can get rid of that and this and that was much faster because we already turned on those clean up unused curves and unused areas buttons check boxes here at the top all right so that's something we can use keep in mind it will delete automatically some stuff so if you are not sure try without it first and then if you are not happy with the result, it's too messy, you can try again with this option on. All right, what do we have here? That's classic for shape builders as well, right? Classic way to test the shape builder abilities. Now we can use plus, we can join those two shapes, those two shapes, and we end up with a symbol very, very quickly. All right, that was fast. And here is another challenge for our shape builder. In this case, I don't have even one a single shape on this artboard. Just lines. We got diagonal lines here and another side as well. So not even one shape here. So how we can use shape builder without shapes. And that's the good part that is totally possible. Take a look. I select lines, not shapes, use shape builder. And he can still detect those areas that are close by lines even though those lines are not related to each other they're not shapes all right so that's also cool use of shape builder even though you don't have like shapes you can use those area created by surrounding lines and you can end up having some interesting grid for your next logo or symbol or something like that okay so take a look we were able to create a shape out of it even though just lines all around so that's really really nice of course we can use shape builder to delete unnecessary elements that's also recommended you don't need to go to any other tool you can do it in shape builder okay and the next example what do we have here multiple ovals overlapping so we got a lot of those intersections that we can use with shape builder take a look every intersection can be used to build a shape so i can simply drag this plus mode and very very quickly we can draw those shapes all around and that's much faster comparing to the old method and we don't need to even worry on which shape is on the top which shape i should duplicate to use it again later we just drawing this line and this line will kind of add the shapes we pass through together into a new shape perfect that was quick nice i like it 
Okay, that was really easy. Okay, and the last final example for, for today. Let's start with minus this time. Get rid of the stuff we don't need. So select all, minus, and then we can get rid of that. And this, I think I can get rid of all of that here at the back. And you should be able to already see what we are building here. Okay, this and that out. And I will also click inside this to like punch a hole. All right. And now the rest is just for us to unify. So I move to the plus mode, select all again, plus mode, and now I can unify everything else into brand new shape. Here it is. And the best part, that's all vector shape, no tricks. That's just a clean shape building speed up with this brand new tool. All right, so this was just a little test. If you would like to test out the shape builder tool yourself using the same set of shapes I did here, I will drop a link to, to, so you can download exact same file and test it out yourself. And I hope this is just one of many tutorials I'm going to make using this great new shape building tool. So stay tuned for that and I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye.